and hello and welcome to another extra video where I work on my truck sometimes I'm successful sometimes I'm not so in today's video I'm gonna be working on my rear and to be precise I'm gonna be working on my storage space over here because as you can see right now this is how I've been running for quite some time and I'm not really happy I bought this as in like an emergency I keep my some stools over here I keep some spare parts over here some oil and stuff but I don't really like it so it's kind of problematic to remove this lift it up so I want to do something over here and my plan is to build up a shelf over here so not really sure how it's gonna come out but hopefully it's gonna come out all right and this is what I'm planning to use guys I was looking to buy this kind of cargo carrier I was looking to buy it from Harbor Freight but I actually found it way cheaper online uh, I bought it from eBay hopefully it's still good hopefully it's still made of uh, steel and not uh, plastic and it's not gonna break so once I put it all together hopefully we'll see how I'm gonna make it all work I also picked up this one inch steel tubing it was actually 12 foot long I asked them to cut it in half this was very cheap this I just picked up from a local metal shop they had it for pretty good price uh, you can find this at Home Depot or Lowe's or some other hardware store but over there it's gonna be way more expensive so you better off just looking at some um, metal shops around originally I wanted to get a similar piping I'm gonna put the picture but with holes already pre-made holes but they sell them only by three feet long and each piece is like $25 so if I need four of them that's almost a hundred bucks just for metal legs and for those legs for this shelf and this is kind of this is way too much I didn't feel like spending that much money so anyways I'm gonna assemble this shelf and then I'm gonna try to see and figure out how I'm gonna mount it over here in advance I got a bunch of different screws washers and whatnot and also I'm still trying to decide which what kind of brackets I'm gonna use over here um, I have these brackets that I may use it like that to space it out more or I may use something like this which I think I'm gonna in the end use this this is actually from a from some door holders or something like that uh, I just had it a lot of it left over from one of the jobs so maybe I'm gonna put it like this and this is where the leg bracket is gonna be and then I'm gonna try to figure out how I'm gonna put it all together so I guess it's gonna be one of those projects that I don't really know how it's gonna turn out but hopefully it's all gonna turn out good so for now I'm gonna assemble the shelf and I'm gonna start measuring the height at what height I want to cut off those legs so let's take this out assemble it and so we can continue we can see what actually we have to do in order to get this done hopefully hopefully all the parts in there and look it even comes with the instruction which is nice so guys since this is actually two in one it's a hinge carrier and this one particular unit is also designed to be as a uh, roof unit which Harbor Freight cargo carrier is not I'm pretty sure I, I don't think it is so <laughs> what I'm coming to is we're not gonna use this middle portion for two reasons first of all no matter how I'm gonna put it it's either gonna be sticking up or sticking down reducing our space and the more over this is pretty heavy this is a pretty heavy piece so to reduce the weight uh, we're not gonna use that so we're just gonna assemble it like that and coming back that this is two in one they actually already provide the, these bolts for the middle portion so we don't have to buy extra bolts for here so that's pretty good so now I'm just gonna assemble it all together just screw this we're also gonna screw this bracket over here and this is pretty much done guys the shelf is assembled and as you can see we used all the bolts and nuts that been provided with this unit so that's pretty good so now we're gonna take it in the back and I'm gonna start measuring how high I'm gonna put it up all right so that's how it's pretty much looks right now um, that bucket over there is actually kind of good reference how high I'm gonna put it so I'm thinking I'm gonna put it higher than that of course I'm just gonna start measuring I'm gonna play with the numbers I'm gonna play with the lengths how high I'm gonna put it and then I'm guys gonna show you the final result so my plan is to cut the legs that are gonna go in the back at 22 inch and the front at 25 inch because the back of the truck is like kind of slope so if you can notice even right now it's it's a little bit uneven so by doing that I'm gonna even it out something is not right I can always cut it a little bit more 
and I'm giving it a little bit of extra couple of inches so we'll see because the 25 inches of the front is gonna be kind of high even so I can always cut it later so I'm gonna cut that and we'll continue all right so I have four of my pieces over here by the way this is a 12 gauge metal I didn't go for 14 gauge because I think this should be strong enough and it's also gonna be lighter so it's actually a different day already <laughs> it's been a few days since I started this project but then I had to do some other stuff but anyways we're gonna continue now uh, it's a little bit windy today so hopefully the wind is not gonna interfere much so what I've been thinking I don't think I'm gonna be using these brackets first of all the, they're a little bit too bulky the way they stick out uh, I don't really like that so I think I'm gonna go with these brackets instead which I'm gonna secure it of course over here with a half inch uh, spring nuts over there and then I'm just gonna make a holes here and that's where I'm gonna secure it I'm gonna be using these bolts one quarter inch bolts they should be fine I already made one hole over here and these bolts they fit perfect am i gonna have to enlarge this hole maybe maybe not we'll see so now i'm gonna drill the remaining three holes in these brackets and then i'm gonna start measuring where i'm gonna make a hole on the on the legs which is somewhere over there so i marked all of them where i'm gonna be doing the drilling and are you using just this wooden block as a support i know this is not the most professional way or place to do it but this is what i have and this is what i have to deal with so to start with, I'm going to use a really small drill bit to make like a sort of a pilot hole. And now I'm going to change it to a bigger drill bit. And now I'm going to change it to 5 16 which is the size of our, of our bolt. So now I'm going to do the remaining brackets and we'll continue. So this is pretty much how I think at which height I'm going to put the shelf, which is about 18 inches. So I have 18 inches of clearance over here and I still have enough space on top over here which uh, i thinking I'm gonna put a few boxes in here with uh, tools or something. Now for the brackets down here, which is gonna go of course here, I'm gonna use these oversized washers because there is a little bit of a gap over here. But once I put these washers in place and this is like that, this is all gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna use this half inch spring nuts install it in there and we'll continue and to put them inside there it's pretty easy you just push them a spring and that's it and they fit here perfect that's how it's gonna be it's gonna be all the way to this side i feel like so now i'm gonna do the same for the remaining of them and then we're gonna start mounting our legs so now i'm just gonna put this washers away here and let's put our bracket over it and now I'm just gonna use a half inch screws the ones that actually came with these brackets and let's screw it up to test it okay I think I think it's pretty tight it's not gonna go anywhere so now I'm gonna do the remaining of them and then I'm gonna start marking the holes where I'm gonna make the holes on the legs once I have the legs in place, then I'll figure out what's the next step. All right, so all four brackets are in place. I might probably gonna have to adjust the back ones to move them forward or back a little more. But now I can start and uh, marking on the legs where I'm gonna make the hole and drill that. And then this probably I'm gonna cut shorter, of course. So right now I'm gonna measure where the hole exactly is. And the hole is about five eighths to the middle so that's what I'm gonna do so then I'm just gonna measure mark it over here and that's where I'm gonna make my holes so that's gonna be my middle of the hole for the bolt so now I can drill them through and we one step closer I'm gonna go with a smaller drill bit first and then I'm gonna enlarge it Alright, 
So now I'm gonna repeat this process for all the legs and hopefully the holes still match. Now let's test if this still fits in here, if our hole matches and it matches perfect. All right. So now I'm gonna drill the same way the other three legs and then I'm gonna start marking where I'm gonna drill the holes over here. Now for the legs on the bottom, I'm using these uh, 516 bolts. I think they're gonna work out pretty good. So now I'm just gonna put it all in there and gonna see hopefully it's still gonna all fit actually i'm gonna start from the back measuring how far i'm gonna swing it forward so in the back i'm putting the first spring nut over here so hopefully it's gonna still gonna give me enough clearance whenever the seat goes all the way back and in the back also these bolts i have to put it like that because once i put it in here i pretty much have no room over here so i'm gonna have to hold it with a key and wrench it that way so you know, hopefully it's all gonna come out all right. Only time will show, but this is, has to be like that. So this is pretty much at which height the, my shelf is gonna be. I actually put some washers over there to give me the exact 18 inches of clearance over here. The four legs, I actually cut it shorter. So my front legs are 23 inch and my rear legs are 24 two and a half. I don't want them to stick out too much on top anyways. So now I'm gonna start measuring where I'm gonna cut the holes at the front because that's pretty much gonna be over here. And then I'm just gonna measure the distance at which distance I'm gonna cut it, drill them, and we're pretty much done. We just screw everything in place. The shelf is almost done. So to be in the middle between these two bars, I have to be at four inch and one quarter pretty much. So that's where I measure it over here. I'm gonna drill these holes and I guess I'm gonna do the same thing for everything. I mean, it's probably not gonna come out perfect. Uh, it's not gonna be super level at one tenth of the inch. It might be a little bit off, but hey, it's just a shelf. Don't judge me. Since I'm drilling it by hand, I don't have uh, the machine that just goes straight. I drilled the first two holes, like my pilot holes. So now I'm gonna measure exactly where those holes are. So if this one is a four three quarter, I'm gonna mark it on the same on the right side as well. And then I'm gonna mark this one, which is uh, about five eighths of an inch. So that should be like somewhere over here. And so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna drill from this side. That way, if you drill it from one side and drill bit might go slightly crooked, so the hole's not gonna be come out straight. I mean, it's probably still not gonna come out straight, but anyways. That looks much better. So now I'm gonna make the holes bigger to appropriate site and we continue. So now I'm gonna determine where exactly I'm gonna make a hole so we here. And I think to the best way to do it, I'm gonna measure the distance between this bracket, which is actually 41 and 7 eighths. And then I'm gonna deduct one inch from it because the tubing are one inch and since I'm in the middle of the tubing that's gonna be minus half inch on both sides so that brings us to 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 47 eighths so somewhere over here at 40 and 7 eighths that's where I have to make the holes at the front and in the back so I'm gonna measure now that I'm gonna drill the holes and hopefully hopefully everything's still gonna match now, since I said it, it's gonna be 40 inch, seven eighths between the holes. So this is our middle. So I'm gonna measure 20 inch and just slightly shy of half inch over here. So that's where it's, our hole is gonna have to be. And now I'm gonna make it the same way over here. So now if we measure all of that, that should give us 40 seven eighths. But I feel like I'm gonna make a hole slightly bigger in case we have to put washers or something. So. Hopefully it's still gonna be all good. And now the top hole is gonna be at one inch five eighths, one inch five eighths. So that has to be over here. And the same over here, one inch five eighths. So now I'm gonna drill those holes on all the sides and then we're just gonna assemble it together. Alright, all the holes are done. I'm actually not gonna assemble it yet all together. 
what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna clean this metal gonna send it off I'm gonna paint it I'm gonna apply some primer on it and then I'm gonna paint it black and then we're gonna assemble and only then I'm gonna know if it all fits or not but hopefully it's all still gonna fit of course I was not gonna leave it like that all rusty hopefully you guys didn't think that oh my god is he gonna leave it rusty metal like that no I'm gonna clean it paint it and then we're gonna continue but that's gonna be another day but you're gonna see it in a few moments most of it it's pretty much just the surface rust it's uh, not even from this metal at all from some other metals as well so I'm gonna clean it up and then it's gonna be ready to be painted that's already looking pretty good so I finished sanding it so now I'm just cleaning it with the alcohol and this is ready to be painted so once I clean it all up I can start painting it and all right guys this is my setup to, ready to be painted and I'm gonna use this primer filler uh, I bought it some time ago for different project but this is gonna work for that as well and then once this is done I'm, I had this black paint with me so that's where I'm gonna paint it black as well so first I'm gonna apply primer and then we're gonna paint it black whenever it's ready I'm not the greatest painter or anything but hopefully this is gonna work out in the end And right guys, it's all dried up, the primer all dried up, it's been 24 hours So now I'm gonna apply some black paint I know once again the weather is not the greatest for painting maybe, but I think it should be alright Alright, the first layer is applied, now I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna apply maybe one more layer and that's it. Hi right, guys, so this is finally done, it's all painted. Uh, I know it's probably not the same color, if you can notice, but I think it's alright. I think I can live with that. <laughs> uh, that's just the paint I had and it's black. So, so now I'm gonna start assembling this all together. And hopefully all the measurements I did are still good. So we're gonna find out in a minute. Now once again for the bottom part over here I'm using this 516s, uh, this type of bolt. And along with that I'm gonna use this nylon lug nuts. So that hopefully will prevent it from coming loose. Now for the front portion where the leg is gonna be connected I'm gonna use the same type quarter inch bolts. Again with the same uh, type of a uh, nylon lug nuts so hopefully that's gonna all work out all good now unfortunately I was not able to find enough of this so for the back I'm just gonna use this type of a quarter inch bolt so hopefully that will work too but we're gonna find out soon now to make my life easier I'm just gonna set it up over here on a small table I'm gonna assemble all the legs first and then I'm gonna take the whole thing inside and hopefully it still fits so once again at the front I'm gonna be using the longer legs and on the back I'm gonna be using the shorter legs so we put one over here I'll get the second one and let's put a second one in and let's hope it still matches the hole <laughs> and just like that so now I'm gonna put all four of them and and then I'm gonna start taking it inside now for the back screws I actually decided to put them facing like that with a nut to be on the outside whereas over here I put these screws on this side and the nut on the inside um, hopefully it's not gonna interfere with anything but we'll find out pretty soon I didn't make them tight yet or anything because just in case I have to do slight adjustments but now I'm gonna take it in and hopefully it fits And I just realized I made one mistake. I need to put the back legs in first and then secure them to the rack over there because at least maybe one of them. Because those bolts, I cannot take them out to push them out. So I probably gonna have to take one leg out, slide it in, and then hopefully it's 
still gonna work. So I'm gonna have to take one leg out and uh, reassemble it later. Or maybe I can just slide it in. Let's see, maybe I get lucky. Okay, that's in place. This is somewhat in place. And this is almost in place. Moments later. I had to enlarge this hole slightly. I just had to just wobble it a little bit. And that was enough for me to clear the screw in there. Now it fits perfect. So now I can continue with assembling this. Now we secure these legs over here and over here. Luckily it still fits. And again I'm gonna use this nylon lug nuts for the legs. All right, now I'm just gonna tighten everything up and we're gonna see if it shakes, moves or anything. And all right guys, this is done. This is, feels very solid. It's not moving, it's not going anywhere. I'm pretty happy. So now for the top parts over here, I ordered this uh, from Amazon, this, uh, these plastic tops, they're one inch. So hopefully they fit in here without breaking, but I guess we can just force them in. There we go. That's one. All right, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good and the edges are protected. They're not sharp and this is all closed up. So now I'm gonna close the back seats, make sure that this is not gonna interfere, otherwise we have to slide it out more. All right, good. And if you can see, it's barely touching over here, so we still clear it, so it's still good. It's basically perfect. I feel it's perfect. So this is my new shell rack. Finally, I have one. I wanted to build one for a long time and finally I did it. So now I can customize and figure out what kind of what kind of containers I'm going to put here, but also got to make sure that I can take them out. There might be some slight adjustments I'm going to have to do. Maybe I'm going to bring it lower depending on what kind of containers I'm going to get. Maybe not. But as of now, I have about 18 inches of clearance to put something in here. And over here I have uh, almost a foot of clearance. So I can put the containers in the middle and then slide them to the side if I want to. But this is pretty good. I'm very happy with this. And of course now I have easy access to this part where I'm gonna keep all my tools for the most part, I think. Now, you might not use the same setup as I did. You might come up with a better idea or something. Uh, for the brackets over here, very easy, you can get some L-shaped brackets from Home Depot. Maybe they're gonna be even better. Another idea for the legs, if you cannot get this metal anywhere or something, there is an easier option, I feel like. You can just order online. I believe it calls uh, a keyboard stand. I'm gonna put a picture over here. And it's already come painted and everything. You just cut it in half and you can use that for the legs to save yourself time and money, maybe. There is always multiple options to do anything. But I'm very happy with this, how this came out. Also, if you have any idea what containers I should use there or you have any suggestions, feel free to them in the description or any comments. I feel like over time I might modify this slightly. I might add something here or, or do slight adjustments to it. As time goes by, I'm probably going to figure out what's going to be the best way and setup for this. But for now, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> All right, everyone. So on this note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you might find it helpful. As always, leave your comments and critique or any suggestion in the comments. I will, always, I will always read them and answer to you. And on this note, until next time, everybody, bye.